Hello, my name is Alex, and in this video, I'll try to teach you how to create a Minecraft D uh, as fast as possible. So, basically, please look in the description, the resources are available in the description. We will choose a GI. So, first, you go on Photopia, New, you select 256 by 256, Create. Once you're there, you can go on the folder, drag and drop. So, we got our GI. The base idea of the GI, I will draw it here. So this was the previous example. Um, the base idea of the GI is to make a shop GI. So we have a GI like this. We have some slots at the bottom. I'm very bad at drawing. And in the middle, we have basically something like, yeah, a grid of a four by four slots. And we have an arrow here, an arrow here, and the menu button here. Right, so that's the base idea. Uh, it's to create a shop. We will have some decorations to make it look better with some things here and things here. So once we are on Photopia, we will center the GI. We zoom, so you can use the button here for zoom. Uh, and we will er erase the top part. We select the top part, we select the color, we right click, pixelate and we fill the brush. So that's it for uh, the top part. We we'll start with that. Um, we're going literally to click it, you see here. Copy fused, uh, copy fused V up here. We can do the same. Right, and uh, we will start making the arrow. So for the arrow, basically, we're going to create a new layer. I hold shift, tip the selection. Now what I can do is duplicate, edit, transform, flip horizontally. And we will put now our uh, little home calc. So we have our home button. So basically we have the base. The idea is to make the AI enhance uh, the overall D and make it uh, a little bit more beautiful. So what we are going to do now, uh, we're going to create fuse to create a folder. Only. So this is just a backup folder and we'll start working from there. So um, now we uh, duplicate the, li the layer and we're going to colorize so we want something pretty brown we want brownish color for the background so we, yeah, we paint it but on this side uh, we want some special thing we want to make it like a market we will put some blue colors alt to subtract so uh, that's the base idea of our GI um, so we will just add now we're going to do something we're going to revert back to this. We're going to select here like this. We revert back to this, and we're just going to paint the details we want to add one by one. It will be uh, really, really uh, not precise at all of painting. So I did a mistake. I'll try to be a little bit precise to avoid issues after. And that's it. I think we can go here and um, don't know how to make curves. Mm, okay. Let's do something like this, say shape, uh, where is it? yeah, it's here. Um, right, so we have some base, uh, let's be honest, it's not nice at all, it's very, a very horrible base. It's not quite, the end goal is not to make something nice. So, uh, we have our base key, we're going to ask the AI to um, enhance this key, so we will export it as base shape. And the second one, we are going to add noise. You can leave it as 20%. And it was the name. Please. Right, so if I missed the failed namings. Now we can go here. Account my reference images. So we added our two images. And now we go in expert. Ultimate pixel art. 200 Ultimate extreme MC NE alpha version 1. We select this AI model. We will put a uh, Correct prompt, a beautiful shop double chest gi with anti slots at the bottom. A beautiful shop interior at the top with on top a 4x4 slot screen in the middle and with many decorations. Indeed. I'm just going to add a very important word cartoon because we want something in cartoon style. And it helps getting better results. So we use the, the image with uh, noise as a base and the one with no noise as shape. Image strength 1, shape strength 7, 
uh, shape affects small details a lot. So copying the settings here, we are at for shape after generation. Um, I'm just going to make a little change like this. Right now we can start generating. So the first result, let's look. Mm, honestly, it's not that bad. It has some theme around shop, but this chest and mm, yeah, maybe we can uh, wait for the second result. Okay, the second result is really good. It's ex exactly what I was asking for. A shop detail on top, you see. Yeah, this one, is, this one is really good. So you see, um, the icons went out, and it, it can happen. One trick sometimes is to uh, make them more distinguishable from here, you see. Um, but it's pretty good already. Uh, what you can do after that, if you want to add, you can just go on. If you remember well, 16. Um, there's an icon model, if I'm not wrong. Icon 16 speed. So there's an icon 16 speed. You can just set home just before. Um, 16 speed version one. And we can say a home button, left arrow. And you can duplicate the left arrow and uh, flip it. So I, I'll, I'll do it for you because I know some people are completely off when it uh, comes to photo editing. Um, so this is before after. You see the pattern? There's slightly a pattern in the shape, in where the things are placed. You see? You see? <laughs> it really fuse the button. Uh, in fact, we, we could we could just. I'm not going to do it here, but we can. We could just crop and. Uh, you would get something here. Also, if you want to do some edits, um, because the colors are a bit off from what I see, I would something right here. And you could select. You see, we can get other results which are pretty good too, but yeah, I think this one was the best one. And yeah, you see, we can get our arrow buttons, we can do a grid, the background color. Uh, relative to the colors, something near red probably. This one's. I'm doing one for the demonstration. It's very simple to do. You can just do this. You can do this. Move the background. We could either place it as is. It's really the lazy system. Uh, or you could just try to match the colors. Maybe we've got something like brown. We could take the brown here. Not take it this brown because if one is this one of this. I, I, I don't know why it, it said it, but you get the idea. You can place the, the, the icons where you want and you can get your gear at the end uh, as you want. 